Hey guys, welcome to our channel and welcome to our first video ever. I'm so excited. Please make sure to subscribe, click on the notifications button so you'll be the first to watch all of our amazing videos to come. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. But yeah, try to enjoy and let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so here are all the products that I will be using. I will be using the shade All About the Pout and Jellish, the Jellish Base Coat, and Opiates Top Coat. So for my buffers, I'll be using two different buffers. I love this one. As you can see, it's worn out. This one's more coarse and this one's more fine. My file is a 100, 180 grit. I have my lint free wipes, Bond-Aid, nippers, cuticle pusher, my handy dandy brush that I've literally had for probably eight years now, solar oil, cuticle softener, acetone, and alcohol. And of course, my LED lamp. So, let's get started. Starting with Naked Nails, I'm going to use my alcohol and wipe all 10 nail beds off to remove any oil and dirt. Look at all that makeup, gross. Now I'm gonna go in with my 100% acetone, pouring in a cap, setting aside for later, and wiping all 10 nail beds off again to remove any leftover polish. Now I'm taking the 180 grit side of my nail file and shaping my nails. I'm going for a square shape today. I like my nails short and square with a little bit of coffin slash ballerina shape. Now for the coffin shape, I'm pinching the skin on the side of my nails back so that I can get in and shape my nails and take in the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and shape all 10 nails. Now all 10 nails have been shaped. I'm taking my cuticle softener, which is by the brand Blue Cross. I will link that down below. And I'm applying it to all 10 nails around the cuticle and I'm gonna rub it in and push back with the oval side of my cuticle pusher. Now as I'm pushing back, I'm going to go into a circular motion this will push back the cuticles and lift it, kind of like sweeping it away. I'm gonna go through and push back the cuticle on all 10 fingernails. Now applying the cuticle softener to my right hand, I'm gonna do the same as I did with my left and just rub it into my cuticles and pushing back. Going in with my nippers, I'll be removing all of that dead cuticle. The dead cuticle is going to be everything that we pushed back with the cuticle pusher. So anything that's sticking up, you're going to be nipping off. You'll notice I'm kind of tugging with my nippers. My nippers need to be replaced. I dropped them and bent the tip. So you don't want to use a dull nipper, especially if you're new to this. You also don't want to overdo it with the nippers because removing too much live skin is what causes hangnails. So just be mindful. If it hurts, you should not be nipping it. I'm going through and removing the cuticle from all 10 nails.
Now I always go back and double check everything before I start polishing so I noticed that this thumb was a little bit rougher and needed a little bit more TLC. So I'm pushing back with the flat side of my cuticle pusher and then I'm going to re-nip. Going in with my blue buffer, this one's more coarse, so this one is good for smoothing out any ridges or dips in the nails and any imperfections, and I'm going to go ahead and buff all 10 nails. going in with my yellow buffer just to make sure everything is nice and smooth you don't necessarily have to go in with this buffer this is just a preference I just like to use it because it smooths out my nails and keeps the shine off and makes everything look nice and even here's what the final shape looks like I'm just gonna go through and compare and make sure that the length and shape is even on all 10 nails I went ahead and washed my hands and completely dried them and now I'm applying Bond-Aid. Bond-Aid is a nail dehydrator. It's going to take out any moisture in your nails and prep them for the polish. I'm going to be working on one hand at a time so I'm only applying the Bond-Aid to just my left hand. Starting with my gelish base coat and getting my cleanup brush ready. As you can tell by the worn out handle, I've had this brush for so long so I cannot remember the exact size but I love it because the bristles are short and compact. And I'm just tipping it in the ass tone just to clean off any polish left over from my previous manicure. And then I'm starting with my base coat. I like to start at the half moon mark and then push up towards my cuticle. By doing so, I'm avoiding placing the product directly on my cuticle. You never want to place product on your cuticle because this is what makes the polish chip. Holding back the skin on the side of my nail helps me to apply the base coat on the entire nail bed. Once I make sure the sides of my nails are completely coated with the base coat, I'm going to go ahead and cap my free edge, which in other terms means applying the base coat to the tips of my nail. Applying the base coat to the ends of my nails will prevent my polish from chipping. Going through and applying the base coat to the remainder of this hand. Grabbing my cleanup brush, dipping it in acetone, wiping off the excess, and just going around my cuticle line and removing any base coat that may have gotten on my skin. Placing my hand into the LED light and setting the timer on 45 seconds. Using the shade All About the Pout, I'm going to start with my thumb and start at the half moon mark and push up towards my cuticle and then sweeping down. I'm going to do this same thing with all five fingers and then use my cleaner brush to go in and remove any color that may have gotten on my skin.
and using my cleanup brush to clean up the polish and then making sure to wipe the brush off onto a paper towel and not a towel. That way you avoid getting fuzzies stuck in the brush and then transferred back into your polish. Stick my hand back into the LED light for another 45 seconds to allow for my polish to cure. And while my polish is curing, I'm going to be shaking up the bottle to avoid any settling. Now I'm going in and applying my second coat the same way I did my first coat. Always make sure to apply very thin coats. Now I'm going in and applying a third coat. I always like to apply a third coat just because I feel like it makes the color look so much richer and having that extra layer helps for the polish to last so much longer. I'm applying my top coat and I'm using the OPI top coat just because I feel like the gelish top coat tends to last a little too well and it's a little bit harder to get off when you're soaking off versus the OPI which tends to come off a little bit easier during an acetone soak off. curing for another 45 seconds and then wiping off the tackiness with 91% alcohol. You can use any alcohol as long as it's at least 70%. Now I went ahead and completed my right hand for you guys and I'm going to be using solar oil to moisturize my cuticles. It's really important to moisturize your cuticles during a gel polish manicure since this is on your nails for a couple weeks you want to make sure your nail bed underneath the polish is not getting dehydrated so reapplying oil every few days will do just fine and here's the finished product thanks so much for watching please make sure to subscribe click on notifications and hit that like button please leave me a comment let me know what you think until next time bye guys